Okay. Uh, this um, video is going to be about creating a, a basic saw. Um, it's not. I don't know if that works. Uh, if it's not um, a comprehensive tutorial. Uh, this is just me as a beginner uh, trying to find out what the emu will do. Uh, so obviously. I might not cover everything, I might not cover things that you'd like to hear or anything, but I'd just like to inspire you to have a dig into this thing if you have one um, and, and just see what it's capable of. Uh, let's encourage each other to do that. So uh, starting here, excuse me, uh, all I've got here at the moment is a, a preset that I've named Basic Saw 1 and uh, I, I need to put some waveforms in it, etc. Oh, um, one thing you may or may not know about is each of the presets voices can have four layers. Um, and normally when you go into edit the preset, um, you've got one, two, three, four, L1, L2, L3, or four, the four layers, uh, and you have to edit those individually. But you have got a setting if you press global, uh, you can change this setting, edit all layers. Um, when you first press global use the once you get it set to it, it'll go to this restore multi setup. Scroll all the way to the end to viewing angle. Um, scroll back couple and it says edit all layers. If you enable that, then when you go to the preset, uh, change the uh, layer number. That's L4 at the moment, three, two, one. If you go, to, then it goes to LA, which means it, it's all the layers at once. And for example, uh, layer one, if I change the sound, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I've been looking for a, a wave sound. So I've got both the XROM and the uh, MP7 sound modules in here installed and the XROM on the first uh, voice that comes up. Uh, science that one saw now if you don't have the XROM and you've got the mp3 uh, sorry mp7 <laughs> uh, you have to scroll through quite to a large number I can't remember the number of but if you go from instead of the number go to category which is the next bit and you can scroll all the way up through to WAV and then move the cursor again to the individual WAV ones you can pop through here uh, saw to square triangle sign saw so same thing <coughs> so e, e oh that's all next one uh see let's just get onto the sorry I'm sure there's one on the uh, mp7 all right so we'd have to use saw tooth there you go so we could use that one or the saw on the um, XL7. This, 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 no, it's not tutorial. I keep saying that. This, the exploration might take a while, forgive me. Um, and obviously, you might not be interested, and that's fine. Right, get on with it. Okay, we'll get on with it. Uh, so, sawtooth. So that's layer one. Layer two, still got nothing. Three's nothing. Four's nothing. So there's just one layer. If I go to LA, all layers I can if I change this sawtooth there then layer one two three and four have all got the same sound which is quite nice just drop it down a couple of octaves and at the moment There's no uh, filter assigned to any of these layers, so that's just a plain sound. Uh, all of this, by the way, is, is run through uh, basically a GoPro mixer into the iPad, recorded, uploaded to YouTube. Uh, no editing, my apologies. Uh, the sound's just as it comes through. And the microphone I'm using is a cheap £2 one uh, off the market that plugs into the GoPro mixer. Just a little three and a half inch jack thing. Really cheap, <coughs> which you can probably tell with the quality. Right, so, see I like that sound already. So 
we're already getting the phase in with the different frequencies going uh, from the different notes. <laughs> See, I like that sound, so I wanted to create this sawtooth thing. Uh, one of the things um, I found uh, today, in fact, this is what inspired me to do the video was, if I go back to Layers All, LA, Layers All, uh, go to, um, where is it now? You can transpose and all the rest of it, so you can change per layer, or all of it, higher or lower, you know. <laughs> He says, let's just get to the parameter. So you can do that, and you can do it per layer. So I could go to layer one, leave it as it is. Layer two, go to third. Layer three, take that to fifth. Layer four, take that to seventh. We've got no um, transpose on the strip here because I've taken it off completely for a reason. So you can, you can have that and go back down. All of a sudden, it sounds very nice because, well, it sounds different uh, because, because uh, nice is just an opinion. Because um, you get those frequency things that I don't fully understand interacting with each other. So I'm fine in one key. in there so anyway uh, I want all those I've got layer 4 on 7 3 on 5 2 on 3 1 on 0 so if I want to change it all at the same time bring it back to the same thing I go to layer all and change that to 0 and now we're back to where we were okay that's the thing you might already know that I don't know I've just been working my way through the manual and I still don't get it all um, right so we'll go to uh, oh Interesting, We've got some fine tuning on some of them. That's probably why, thinking about it, I didn't know that was on. Uh, that's probably why I'm from minus one plus one, right? Yes, yeah. so that's why when I played them uh, at the beginning, I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. It sounds like a bit of out of phase thing. Uh, and that out of phase thing was obviously because the tuning was like that. <laughs> Yep, so now um, I could perhaps try it on to go, just, uh, this is um, Sense, I think it's called, a uh, bit finer than um, the tuning up of a semitone. <laughs> like it or not, I don't know. Right, yeah, so that's uh, interesting, uh, but that's not what I'm doing as well. Uh, let's turf or go back to all layers, change that to zero. See? Uh, so that's just like it is. Uh, clear of any fine tuning or tuning. Uh, go to uh, oh, what's the amplifier. Ah, oh, right, yes. So uh, amp, let's put all the layers at the same volume and at the moment I've got uh, layer 1 panned 15 left, layer 2 panned 15 right, uh, layer 3 let's pan, oh, doing the wrong one, <laughs> mistake, that 30 left and layer 4, pan that 30 right. Separate it out stereo wise. <clears throat> uh, when you've got all layers selected, if there's a different setting on any of the layers, it starts flashing just to let you know that not all the layers are set the same. 
Um, go through next one, volume envelope, volume weight, chorus, sound run, we're going to uh, glide, filter, we'll get to in a minute, filter envelope, where's transpose, a bit further on, oh, pitch bend range, this is the one. So on the touch strip at the moment, no pitch bend range. So if I just put it as, uh, let's go to three semitones. <laughs> Yes, we've just got that, and it affects them all. But this is what I learned today. You can you can actually do this differently for each layer, uh, which means you can with one single key press, obviously. Um, layer one on zero, layer two on three, five. Do the. Um, So you can do that, <laughs> which I didn't know about. So you can take it sort of out and back in to, um, it just sounds interesting to me. I think it's quite fun. Uh, so I'll put that back down to uh, zero again. And I've got the mix output patch chords we'll look at shortly. Now we'll go to uh, filters. So we've got the same waveforms on each layer. Uh, and we're going to go to filters. Mm -hmm. Right, <coughs> so uh, all layer filter, so you can just change that as, as you would. Um, and then play with the filter. in the chords right so the smooth and so on so you know there's lots of different ones yep and we can change these per layer so um, when you start getting some of the other ones like the 12 order. Now, this is also affected, this filter cut off, if we've got any um, patch chords selected. I'll just go to, um, where is it, there, DJ Alkaline. Yep, yeah. uh, and then we'll go to patch chords, because these are quite into the patch card settings are important. Uh, there we go. Right, so MIDI A is do filter frequency plus 50. So if we bring that up to 100, drop it down to minus 100. All of a sudden, depending on how much of the filter we want, drop up to 50. So we could have, for example, that's for all layers now. So if we go to layer one, leave it as it is, layer two, we'll change that to plus 50. Excuse me. We've got 
So we've got two things happening at the same time. And of course, if we go back to um, the filter type and change uh, layer three and layer four filter, slightly uh, and then we'll go to four so we've got those filters coming in and going out separately put it in the middle you get some more fun yeah um, there we go and that's just on the, the filters if we go to um, <coughs> excuse me uh, the tuning and do different tunings for each of the ones. Uh, three, three bottoms of that. Two. And we've got. got uh, something going on there uh, just by fine-tuning those um, individual layers this individual layer thing is quite a thing <laughs> it does not make any sense um, go to um, layer one and change that to interesting things happening in the background to my ears anyway um, now the other thing we can do as well I'll just change the tempo right down to maybe 30 or 20 um, this filter envelope time based and the other envelopes whether they're time based or uh, they go tempo based so for this um, voice there's an audition I'm not sure which audition tune it is but we'll see there's like an alarm <laughs> that sounds terrible um, my wake up alarm in the morning um, let's go to uh, audition riff right Mm, grind me, oh, that'll wake me up. Um, what's that one? So that's just an audition riff that will carry on playing and probably get really irritated in the background. Um, so let's change the filter attack. Change the cut 
switch off. So let's go to see what this filter cue or um, the MIDI B controller does in the um, chords. Which chords? Right, so MIDI B filter resonance plus 71. Let's see if anything else. Right, so filter envelope affects the filter frequency too. <coughs> Let's put it on all. I forgot to put it on layer all, so let's go back to the beginning. So MIDI uh, layer all, patch code one, because you can have patch code per layer. So it's minus 51 frequency, plus 50, minus 51. All oh, right, okay. So what if we changed four to plus 50? We go to right, we go towards the eighty mark, and maybe change that down to eighty. Yeah, so you get a bit bigger range, not better, bigger range. Um, let's go to patch chord number two. Filter resonance is the same for all. So if we change that to a negative number. I'm still not getting any alteration in the, the cue. So Let's see if there's another patch chord that's affecting that. Sorry, this is, as I say, just an exploration. My apologies if it's boring for you. Um, that's not my intention. Uh, look, we're just looking around for anything that affects filter frequency. Right, velocity affects filter frequency. It's on to do much there. Uh, Filter frequency LFO two. Weird. Is that for all of them? Yeah. Wonder if we change that value at all. And I wonder what LFO two set to. Let's go to LFO. LFO two triangle. Direct variance. Let's have it as a sort of key sync free running. Change it to so two. It's almost like the cue isn't set to anything. Rate. That's interesting. 
something interesting going on there. I like that uh, variety of sound there. Um, go up to the uh, pitch pen range. Change that to 'm <laughs> not sure it is any valid to me, but it sounds interesting, so I'm continuing because of the sound I like the sound. <laughs> again and try the mm, no, tempo based approach <laughs> Thank you. 
course you don't have to have all layers the same. So you could have time based on two and tempo on the others. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, sorry, I was just, it's the subtleties and things that are going on in the background that spin my head around and that's what I like. Um, let's go then to, uh, not filter types, we need to go back to chords. Uh, go back to chords. Where are we haven't even looked at the arpeggiator um, for this. Uh, where's the chords? They're here somewhere. Um, there they are. Patch chords, right. Uh, let's have a listen to, if I go to all, LFO2 is plus and minus, so it goes up and down, so just using the top or the bottom. Let's try. <laughs> interesting sound on the amount if we go to filter frequency instead of changing it so much let's drop that down to like maybe there <laughs> Yeah. 
nice little to hear the harmonics are playing round in my head there and I like that um, I don't know how much mileage there is in it for you but that's definitely for me something that's like wow um, so what else is there anything else LFO rate is what uh, L is doing yeah the rate is plus 6 at the moment um, so we could change in fact it's different for each layer it's 12 or 6 interesting so let's just try altering that then that but that's just that's beautiful Spiel. It's like amazing. Absolutely. Right. I'm just going to stop there. back sorry my head is not my wire uh, I'm gonna save that because I, I, I just that I'll, those harmonics the, the, the thing that's happening there is just like love it um, save to uh, that'll do next one save done my basic saw now what I'm gonna do now is just edit the name my basic saw. This is happening live as you see it. Um, my basic saw. Um, H. Was that H? A. Hey, where's it gone? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> my basic saw. Ha. Huh? I'll solve one half. Right, okay, so I'll save that to the same place. Just to change the name. Right, so we've got... Okay, uh, mm. um, preset, uh, go to arpeggiator, uh, the arpeggiator, now that's the, that's the, the audition riff, but we're going to the arpeggiator. Right, 
so we've got at the moment um, um, mode pattern no value pattern speed raver raverotic 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 um, right so we'll go to let's take light off let's go to gate and put it for longer so that slight detuning I'm assuming is the mod wheel let's try it Okay, uh, go back to uh, extension count. Let's try one. There we go. Uh, so if we go to th two. So if I just leave it at one, so it, it knocks between the two, if that makes sense. Um, and then extension interval. Go to, to one standard. And I'll keep repeating that. So then if we go to two. See what's happening? Go four. If I go to five, yeah. So if we go back to the count and put that to two, then we get. Yeah. 
so. <laughs> um, and then we can key sync. Oh, I didn't quantize. And the latch function is, is, is handy because it means if you play and put on, uh, it will keep there until you press it again. So you've got... the key range you can only choose to play certain of the notes so um was just MIDI and home and enter at the same time like a MIDI panic button uh, so you can alter the range at which the arpeggiator will work on if you only want it to work on the lower uh, notes or the higher notes or wherever you want it to work really uh, the other issue would be um, apart from changing patterns etc etc uh, you can change the velocity to be to whatever you want so got your settings um, for when the filter opens and closes like the uh, filter velocity the amp velocity uh, you can have those uh, pre-programmed in your patch chords and then change it to this so you get the different sounds just when you use the arpeggiator so it's down a bit a bit more so you can hear the sound is changing slightly because the velocity of how you play the notes affects uh, via the chords the um, amplitude the filter etc So, or you can just play it. And that affects, um, and again, you've got to be able to hear it, I suppose. Uh, I want to do that, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we can also change the pattern or random, so. And the only reason that's playing those notes is because uh, in where are we? 
extension count. Uh, I assume this is true. Okay. So you can get some bit random stuff going on there. Um, And it'll that extension count affects is or is affected by uh, this mode as well. So you can get forwards and backwards. And all the other stuff, backwards, forward, up, down, just up, just down. Change the pattern speed. So we've got Pattern speed. <laughs> so the pattern speed now is twice, three times, whatever, four times, um, because of that. So it's double the speed. So if we drop that down to half or quarter, yeah. So you can have each of the voices uh, at a different pattern speed. Looking at the time, goodness me, that's nearly an hour. Uh, my apologies. Uh, it's gone well over what I thought I was going to do. Um, any questions? Or if you've got um, some yourself, that, some things yourself that you've found, then uh, please share, show. Um, let us all um, have a listen to what you've um, been doing so that we're able to join in learn something and um, this is just a bit of a faffing about i've been doing previously that i thought i'd play out on but it's not that brilliant it's just a bit of a mess about Well, maybe it give you a laugh. Thanks again. <laughs>